you, you, you heard about this Cosmos channel? Yo, where's this Cosmos channel? Yo, 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 what's up guys, I'm Cosmos and today it's an emergent upload and we will talk about the new patch yes, a new patch again for Elden Ring patch nose version 1.16 now, this patch came out very suddenly and it addresses bug issues very important and I will read the notes uh, I will focus on one major bug fix which is a crutch that many players have been using and I did not even know that it's possible and I did not even know about this bug this glitch yet you have so many players that are using this and finally is getting fixed Miyazaki is hunting <coughs> down every glitch right now streamers are demanding to fix the taunter's tongue and increase more put more reds in the game and what is uh, Miyazaki is doing he's deleting their crutches that they are using to cope with the invasion status right now he's deleting everything he's choking the reds man because you know so many reds are using crutches which is not optimal which is not optimal and healthy for the game especially pvp why are you using crutches i just found out that this crutch that this bug has been in the game since a long time everybody is using it almost everyone knows about it can use this it's very easy to do also i don't know also why cheaters are using bugs and cheats when they know Miyazaki is on their neck every time they try to stand up on one platform and rule the elder ring pvp with cheats Miyazaki come crushing down their whole empire their whole function and their whole base because what you are cheating then you get what you deserve man you get fixed then you get outplayed by normal players because you are using and gatekeeping about these glitches let's go and read the patch notes and talk about them and analyze what is basically inside these notes so patch notes version 1.16 bug fixes fixed an issue where temporary boosts where temporary boost to player stats would remain even after closing and restarting the game stop here guys this is the one we are talking about this is the major bug that is being gatekept and so many players so many players are cheating via this bug here so basically some players are using the grafted sword to glitch their stats what does this mean the user uses grafted sword for plus five for some stats giving them ability to wield many weapons with basic stats requirements at 125 and 139 levels so you you won't even notice basically what that means is that they are using the buff of the grafted sword on their characters permanently the normal way for the grafted sword is it gives you a buff for some stats for example endurance mind or i think something like this but the catch here is that the buff is temporary and not permanent these players found a way to use this buff permanently on their characters so it would reflect permanently on their stats also i got a link of a youtuber explaining this glitch and how to do it step by step and i will uh, link down below and i will show it here let's watch it hello gamers i am restless the red and today i will show you Subscribe. how to perform the glitch Subscribe known as dragon scale grafted glitch which allows you to get 13 virtual levels of hp 5 virtual levels of fp and 5 virtual levels of stamina without actually investing the points into vigor mind and endurance respectively bro uh restless the red sounds like he's uh from germany or scandinavia 
Scandinavian countries like if I'm not mistaken like the guys have that uh, Germanic accent anyways I'm just uh, using my intuition so without further ado let's jump straight into how the glitch is done let's jump into the, the, how it's done guys for it to work you need two things the consumable known as dragon scale flash okay you can also use dragon communion flash okay. but uh, dragon scale flash is straight up an upgrade okay. so you're better off using this one use this one and the weapon known as the grafted blade greatsword the grafted glitch sword so what you do is you make sure you meet the requirements for the sword you can use stat boosting gear to do so and then eat the consumable dragon scale flash just so like as you can see now after having eaten the consumable and used the sword my vigor jumps from 13 by 13 points from 47 to 60 this is very important which guys. results in me having 21 73 points of hp right now wow so let's quit out in the main menu so i will point out that if you continue playing the game it's not a glitch it the buff will go away now the glitch happens after quitting the game okay he quit the game and reload the same character real quick he reloaded the same guy now see what happens here awkward silence now if we open the stats you can see that the buff is gone but the effects of the buff remains this is the grafted glitched sword man they were using this and at times i'm thinking like why does this guy have abnormal hp for the level we are dueling at so many players are, were using this and Miyazaki now just goes down on their neck and cuts the head of the snake. This glitch is very dangerous guys and now it's got, it has been fixed which is very good. Let's continue the video. My actual vigor jumped back to its actual value which is 47 without any buffs. But my maximum HP remains at 2173. Bro. And it is now permanent. Bro. The same happened with FP and stamina. Which, uh, if you make the calculations, are actually higher than what I should. I have to say, man, Wristless the Red has a good mic. He has a good mic, man. Have with these attributes. Keep in mind that for example your equip load or any of the other stats affected by either the grafted blade buff or the dragon scale flash will not be affected by this glitch and will jump back to their original values now i am also using of course the talisman crimson amber medallion plus three and Ertree's favor plus two which increase my maximum hp and my maximum stamina Using these does not break the grafted glitch. I can also use this helmet, known as Fire Knight Helm. And as you can Why is he using my drip? You can see my maximum HP and my stamina jump higher, even further. And now my maximum HP is 2217. Like with me is, only having this is crazy hp guys this is crazy hp for 150 level 47 points in vigor that's basically it now to maintain the glitch all i have to do is avoid using any stat boosting gear or consumables including but not limited to the flask of wondrous physic as you can see, I have a strength tier in it, which 
is what I used to be able to wield the Grafted Blade Greatsword. Now that I don't need it anymore, I just replace this tier with something else. Let's say Opal in Heart tier. And now when I drink my Flask of Wondrous Physic, my maximum HP does not get affected. There we go, the glitch is active and it's gonna remain on your character now. Forever. Even if you reload the save, <laughs> even if you quit out the game, even Damn, if you man. transfer the save to another account, the glitch will remain, remain there. Forever As glitch! Right now, this glitch is not being detected by FromSoft's... Uh, now it's detected, man! And I My Isaac smelled the rot! He said, I told him, like, you got your game, get your game fixed, man. Get your game fixed. He said, okay. Cheat, and therefore you do not get banned for it. And I told him, forget about the taunter's tongue. Forget about increasing the player's limit. Fix the game first, man. The game is bugged. Fix your game. Then, let's see some good... Uh, innovations for the PvP man. However, once you use anything that boosts your stats, let's say a Wondrous Flask tier, or a Talisman, or a Consumable, or a Helmet, your HP, Stamina and FP will jump back to their original values. So that is the drawback of using this glitch. Let's demonstrate. I have a Faith Knot Crystal tier in my Wondrous Flask right now. So when I drink the flask, you can see that all of my attributes that you can see in the top left corner of the screen, HP, FP and Stamina, decreased. And now to get them back, I have to repeat the process that I just showed you. So basically they will do the glitch and not use any buffs after that, the buffs that he talked about, so that the main buff he done, the grafted buff, is still there. So the glitch is no longer active and my maximum HP jumped down to only 1903, which means that I lost more than 300 of virtual HP points. Man, that is crazy. quite significant and yeah. allows you to fit more into a certain build while remaining at a fixed rune level. So you're cheating. So there you go. I don't, I don't mean risk Enjoy this, this I tech mean the, and the, the I the wish you luck explaining. in all your future endeavors. Yeah, thank you, man. Take care. Thank you, man. Thank you for your... So guys, uh, we'll continue talking about the patch notes very fast they included several other bug fixes we don't know what these fixes are but it's very good that they are doing bug fixes possible unstable performance fixes so uh, this is about the graphics and the frame rates which is uh, welcomed in this time like we need a better frame rate game and they included here further updates will be distributed for in the future for you to continue to play Elder Ring more comfortably. So the company knows about the too many bugs, too many glitches that players are crutching on and cheesing other players. So they are now on the hunt for the many glitches, for the many cheaters and maybe also banning so many cheaters at the same time. Which is good, which is healthy for the game. Hopefully later patches would address PvP mechanics, for example, to add more covenants, like if they add covenants in the game, the Elden Ring PvP would flourish and everyone would go back into, into the game. And man, not only everyone would go back into the game, the game itself will live for another 10 years because players like covenant systems, like multiplayer. This game actually is made for the host but they can change it it's okay if they, like uh, it's not a big issue for them but they want the game for the host that's why they are not changing the pvp they can easily add covenants 
uh, in a normal patch just add covenants <coughs> and they can easily increase pvp uh, player limit as shown in the Colosseum, you can have six players in one session which is very easy for them to do but they are not doing it because they want the Elder Ring friendly for the host and casual players that's why they don't want two reds go after uh, <laughs> a host and completely destroy him and play with him man but I can suggest something for the uh, patches which is like add another phantom i mean add another faction like the red but this guy does not attack anyone except the phantoms like he does not attack the reds he does not attack the host he does not attack the blues he does not attack the cousins only attacks the phantoms go goes after the phantoms i think this is a good idea what do you think and yeah but the real question is is this the end of Elden Ring? I don't think so guys they will keep posting patches they will keep changing it up mixing it up and uh, hopefully I have a good uh, prediction like uh, I believe they will post a patch that will fix so much in the game and I still believe that they will post something that will change the PvP entirely like they will add something surely they will add something to the game if not then the game is good and by itself the invasion invasion wise is still busted but otherwise the game is functions very nicely even though i believe elder ring is the top game that they have done and in the future they cannot make a good game like elder ring i think it's their limit it's the highest limit they can reach in a Souls game genre but later games I think they will do like a Bloodborne game a gothic Bloodborne game and they will heavily focus on the PvP maybe we will get more covenants so it will be a smaller game but heavily PvP focused like uh, the game has a, will will have a good multiplayer for sure and take dark souls 3 as an example and as a reference for the next game so uh, it will be a smaller sized game but too much content will be inside and it will have the best souls pvp so guys that's it for the video it was a fast upload i just wanted to talk about this Please provide your comments, what do you think? And subscribe! Outro in 1, 2, 3 I shall join me in this adventure, adventure we grow in forever brilliance and magnificence. <laughs>